Hello, my candor crafters. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are loyal, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be doing an updated domino tutorial where I answer all the questions you guys had for me in my last video, as well as announcing my giveaway. So make sure you watch this full video so you can find out how to win. Now, let's get into it. So first up, I'm mixing two different glitters. Um, they're both beautiful separately. So I was just like, I think they will look really good together. And they really did. So that's just what I'm doing here. I didn't measure anything. I kind of just eyeballed it and until I got the color that I liked. So the second most asked question I got was how much resin did I mix? So I mixed about 150 milliliters of resin. So 75 milliliters of actual resin and 75 milliliters of hardener. If you are new to resin, there are two parts. So you're gonna do half and half. But I would just like to note that I do not fill my domino mold all the way to the top because I seal my decals with clear resin. So if you're not doing two layers like I am, you wanna mix about 300 milliliters of resin. Dominoes are very time consuming and they require a lot of resin. After thoroughly mixing my resin, I put some turquoise mica powder in my resin and mix it in along with the glitter. And I just keep mixing. After reattaching my arm, cause it done fell off from all the mixing, it's time to fill up our molds. I use these disposable syringes. And when I tell you guys, these are life savers, they are life savers, okay? I got a hundred in a pack for like 15 bucks from Amazon. And I fill it up, they're 10 milliliters. So I do half and half. So I do five milliliters for each of my dominoes. And like I said earlier, I do not fill up my dominoes to the top because I seal my decals with clear resin. When you're doing any type of resin project, you want to make sure you have extra molds handy. They don't have to be the same molds, but trust me when I say you would much rather overestimate than underestimate when mixing resin because it sucks when you run out of resin and you're not done with your project. And you won't waste the resin because you have an extra mold handy. To get rid of air bubbles, I find this long lighter to be the best method, like the best method. You can also use a heat gun if you don't have a lighter like this, but I promise you guys, like my, my dominoes come out crystal clear whenever I use a lighter. Now let's head over to Design Space where I can show you guys how I made my decals. These decals are a little bit different from my other decals that I did tutorials on because they are full body, meaning they cover the whole back of the dominoes. I made my own template for it. So if you guys would like to know, you know, how I made the template, then let me know because I think I'm going to make that a separate video. And I can show you guys how to make rounded edges in design space. So I got this SVG file from Etsy, of course. And right now I'm just going through the layers to change the colors of 
the unicorn to the color to match the colors of the dominoes i decided on turquoise and purple because i feel like those two they complement each other very well I did wind up changing the leaves back green because once I printed out the decals, you definitely could not see them in silver. Once I'm satisfied with my image, it's time to size it. I definitely tested it out to see if I wanted my image to go horizontally or vertically just to see, but of course I chose horizontally because I wanted to utilize as much space as I could. And then I did wind up pretty much stretching it out to fit, to fill as much of the domino as I could. Once my image is sized and centered correctly, I group my template and the image together and then I duplicate it. Now we all know that Cricut does not utilize space very well, so we're gonna do it ourselves. And here's the trick. Cricut's print and cut dimensions are 9.25 by 6.75. So I duplicate my decal seven times and move the very last decal over to about 6.75. It might be like 6.73. It depends on if I could get it right there on the money. Then from there, I select all of my decals, go to align top, and then distribute horizontally. And that will evenly space out all of your decals. Once I do that, I group all of my decals together and then duplicate each row so i'll do four rows then i'll take that very last row like i did for the first decal and bring that down to about 9.25 away from the very first decal i'll align it to the left and then distribute distribute them vertically after that i flatten everything so this way my cricut won't try to cut out the svg and just print out the template. For my decals, I'm using the Silhouette brand of glitter sticker paper. Shh, don't tell Cricut. Again, to seal my decals, I just used clear resin, and this is how they turned out. So you do see a little bit of air bubbles. That's because my lighter ran out of fluid. So yeah, that happened. To sand my dominoes, I'm using this little drill that I got from Harbor Fright for literally $10, and it came with so many different heads um, that you can attach to it. So I'm just using this little small purple flat head that I got with it. It's not too hard and it just smooths out my dominoes perfectly. So 
I'm just going along the sides just to, you know, dull it down some because the edges are sharp. You do want to be careful and not sand your dominoes too much because you don't want them to lose its shape. So just lightly glide across it like I'm doing and on both sides, of course. After I'm done sanding my dominoes, I just take some alcohol and rub my dominoes down just to get all the ash off of it. Next up is my favorite part, which is painting. Well, yeah, painting my dominoes. I think it's because it's the indication that I'm almost done, but <laughs> I digress. I'm choosing purple. And I did two different purples because I wasn't sure if I wanted to go like a dark purple or that I want to brighten it up and do more of a lavender. And then I'm just showing you guys like you can talk to me as I'm editing. But I just wanted to, you know, see, get you guys' opinion. Should I go on light or darker? And I definitely went lighter. I just felt like the, if I, I didn't want it to be too dark. So I wanted to brighten it up and make it pop a little bit. Now here is what you need, guys. You guys need to get the dotting tool from Dollar Tree. I got this little tool from Dollar Tree. And when I say it is a lifesaver, I know I say this about a lot of stuff in this video, but I promise you, I promise you guys, this is the easiest method to dot your dominoes, okay? I literally start with the line, 
and then I go to the dots and then I just use my thumb to wipe it. I try to be, you know, real professional and just do it with a napkin, but crafting is messy and sometimes, you know, you got to get your hands dirty. That's the beauty of it. So yeah, I literally just dot. I do the line first. I do my dots. I take my thumb and I just wipe up all the excess paint and put it on a napkin. Now to answer the most asked question, where did I get my storage box? I got this question so many times. Oh my goodness. I got this storage box from Dollar Tree in the cosmetics section. I have not seen them in a while though and I checked online and they're back ordered. So I don't know when they will get them back, but that's where I got these from. I feel like I should do a video on Dollar Tree finds because I promise you Dollar Tree really is the GOAT for a lot of things. But as for the decal, I did use the offset um, feature in design space for the top half of the unicorn. As for the name, all I did was use my Cricut Joy and the leftover sticker paper that I had and cut out her name and put it on the box. This part was a bit of a struggle, I'm not even going to lie to you, because I didn't use transfer tape, because I don't think you can use transfer tape with this, it's not vinyl. So, it was definitely a struggle putting all these pieces on here together, but once I got it done, it looked pretty good to me. It did. What do you guys think? So, the giveaway is a $50 Visa gift card. I know it's not a lot, but I promise you guys, once I get back, I will be doing more giveaways. And as I continue to grow, hopefully I could have even better, you know, prizes for you guys. I just want to do something to show my appreciation because I really do appreciate you guys. I never thought that I would make it past 100 subscribers, let alone 5,000. So as I continue to grow, I will be having more giveaways. Because like I said in a previous video, my love language is gift giving. Like I love giving people gifts. So I'm definitely going to look out for you guys just like you guys have looked out for me. And I just thank you so much. So in order to win, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and put a gem. Because at this channel, I love dropping gems. Like I love helping others. So drop some gems in the comments and only my loyal candor crafters can win so i will be looking through the comments and making sure you have that red tick next to your name that indicates that you are subscribed to my channel i will be picking a random winner on november 26th the day after thanksgiving so make sure you check out the communities tab on my channel and that's where you will get all the information and see who won and that's a wrap for this video, my candle crafters. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. I promise they will not get ignored through the sea of gems. <laughs>
Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Until next time, my kinder crafters.